last two verses of this song um, and then I'm going to give a recap with all of the verses together at the end and we'll include the chorus in between each verse as well. So in this next verse, again, I'm just going to give you a rough translation of what the poet or the, the composer of the song is telling us. Um, he's describing to us here his wife and how she is a lovely, strong and um, jolly woman and that she uh, minds their child very well and that she is well able to multitask, that sometimes she would be um, rocking the baby to sleep in, with one hand and then she's able to like sew uh, a hole that's in a sock with the other hand. So she's, and he's just saying that he's mad about her and their beautiful little child. She ma chéile se mare on stard van vowel vashuel. So another bit of a tongue twister here, but again, keep you know rewinding and listening again. I'll say that whole line once more so you can hear it um, and write it down phonetically. She machele she mare on stard van vowel vashuel. You might have to practice that line a couple of times over. Next line. I lus gan chlevan. I lus gan chlevan. Is an vob era haskerot. So those two phrases together. I lus gan chlevan. Is an vob era haskerot. Next line. Stuck na live sna bjorain in ti prabbernig. And once more. Stuck na live sna bjorain in ti prabbernig. And the last line. E a knittail is a cronon done. Lanavin. E a knitoil is a cronon done landavin. So that's another thing I forgot to mention that she's sewing, she's rocking the baby, and she's also humming and singing to the baby as well. So she really is a multitasker. So I'm gonna take it uh, one verse, one line at a time, um, and I'll sing them this time. She mahele shimare mare. Again, it's only a very small little ornamentation, but it makes uh, it has a big impact. She mahele shimare on stard van vowel vashuel. Stard van vowel vashuel vashuel. Similar to what we had in the first phrase there in terms of ornamentation. I'm going to do those two phrases together. She mechele shemire on stard van vowel vashuel. Next line. I lus kan chlevan. I lus kan chlevan. So the second half of that word chlevan has a little bit of an ornamentation. I lus kan chlevan. The son of Albera has I lus can hlieva on the son of Albera has gerucht. Next line. Stock in the live is the brine in the prabberneg. So, this is the line that he's telling us that she has a sock in her hand and that the needles she's using are hopping or bouncing off one another. So, that word prabberneg means to hop or to bounce, and that's why I tend to put in a little bit of a hop in that word. Prabernig is the last word you'll hear in this line. So listen to how I put in the little bit of a hop. Stuck in a live snipperine in te prabernig, prabernig. So it really helps to paint the picture of what, what he's trying to, to say in his lyrics. Stuck in a live snipperine in te prabernig. Last line. I knittail is a cron on the land of in. I knittail is a cron on the land of in. 
Okay, that whole verse. Ji me chele shemare unstarred van vol vashuel. I alus ke chlea van is son va bere has gerucht. Stocken alive is nipper ein in deep proper neck. I a knit oil is a coron on the land of in. Okay. Great, so we're on the last verse now. And in this verse, again, I'll give you a translation of what he's trying to say to us here. Um, he's saying that he loves that he is so madly in love with his wife and that he hopes that the love and the joy and the luck that they have had in their lives to date will continue when they'll go up to heaven and when they're reunited together um, up in heaven. Um, so he wants that love to continue when they'll go up to heaven together. So, um, she ma rui hun an ard vik. She ma rui hun an ard vik. A raste de scappering. A raste de scappering. Okay, once more. She ma rui hun an ard vik. A raste de scappering. Next line. Skalan hig on pawson gun rotter gun aspering. Skalan hig gun tawson gun rotter gun aspering. Next line. Nor a hook hig lawn or if in artriv ood jessifet. Nor a hook. Kiglan Ariv Vin Atriv Udiesafet Gadok Dear Love Shing In Arde Gaparahus Gadok Dear Love Shing In Arde Gaparahus Okay, so again, make sure you're comfortable with the pronunciations and that you're happy with you know how each word sounds you know when you're when you're sounding it out that that's really really important um so like i said please pause and rewind and do as much work as you need to before you try to sing the song or the verse so Next line. Skalan higan tasan gan rotter gan aspering. Gan rotter gan aspering. Next line. Nur a hook iglan a riven a trivud jessifet. Nur a hook iglan a riven a trivud jessifet. God dog, God dog. So you're kind of coming in hard on that dog. God dog, dear life, sing in our dog God dog, dear life, sing in our dog Okay, that whole verse once more. She marie hun an hard wick a rouse to the scuppering. Skalan the gun toss and the gun rotter gun aspering. Nor a hooky glan a riven a trivoot jessifet. Good dog a dear life shing in our dig upon Great. So I'm delighted to have gotten through that song. It's one of my favourite songs um, that I have since I was a child. And what we're going to do now is we're going to sing the whole lot through and include the chorus in between each verse. Okay, so let's start the first verse. Time sugar smile a sauce to our nagin' Oh, nas go gay parching in all the rovan 
Brach, brach, nis, gar, mit, wet, se, schein, kjol. Party, ni, be, lo, gum, rex, fall, di, or, rex, fall, di, ay, edel, di, di. So just as we're progressing, each line should be do done in one breath. When you come to the last uh, line of the verse, you're going to carry it into the chorus and take a breath after the word kjol. Bet, se, schein, kjol. Party ni be lo gum rex fal di o rex fal di ay edel di di. So you're going to go from the last verse all the way into the word kyol. Take a breath and then finish the korfa out. Finish the chorus out in one breath. Let's try the second verse. Ta ma hai loch san hai tis fad rad malisha e bar kontra hai ne harin shach nakre. Grinnacht fasen ho hart isch ne klache zwe felden lassen go weg me abigiert wet se scheint kjol party ni be lo gum rex fall di o rex fall di eitel di di ta tarig fasen hart in gas lachte he just little note there you notice that i'm doing two two lines at a time First and second line need to be done in one breath. Third line you can take a ver uh, breath after that and then for if you need to. Okay, fourth verse. She So there you have it, that's Tom Jigasmara done and uh, come along to the next lesson because I'm going to be doing another lovely Shano song that I'm sure you will enjoy learning as well. <laughs>